What's up, everybody? This is Dr. Zeb, your everyday life coach, and I provide you with practical tools for everyday living so you can transform tomorrow today. We are on day 16 of the 28 day challenge, and we are dealing with this concept of being sweet. And um, I know um, I probably challenged you, some of you yesterday, to really think about how you can apply being sweet into your life and, and look for practical ways which you can be consistently sweet and generous and kind at all times. And I'm going to take that a step further today. But before we do, I'm going to challenge you to like this video, share this video, subscribe to our channel. Um, we only ask you for one reason. Uh, we want to make sure that this content reaches as many people as possible, that it impacts as many people as possible, that it helps as many people as possible. And believe it or not, you just hitting that like button goes a long way in ensuring that somebody somewhere randomly sometimes sees this message, sees this video, and is able to apply this content to their lives. So like this video, subscribe to this channel. We would greatly appreciate it. Now, day 16 sweet. Uh, I recently did a, a live. Um, I did a live. I got you know, sucked into this every other Monday live thing that I do on my Facebook channel. And you can you know, follow our channels and our networks. Um, you see the links of those in, in the description. I got sucked into this this every other Monday live thing that I do. And I spent um, a live uh, last week talking about boundaries. And I want to use today as we you know go deeper to define how we apply being sweet to our lives. I want you to do that, but I want to apply this one caveat to you. And it's this. Just because you are sweet does not mean you should not have a boundary, right? Does not mean you should not have boundaries. What tends to happen with people is people tend to take their sweetness, their kindness, their being nice to extreme levels. They offer those things without boundaries. And anytime you make being sweet to others more of a priority than ensuring your own needs are met, you are living in a place of no boundaries. Okay, I want to say that again. Anytime you make being sweet to others or being anything for that matter to others more of a priority than ensuring your own needs are met, you are living your life with them towards those situations without limits, without boundaries. And when you do that, you're entering a danger zone. Um, we never want to be sweet beyond our capacity, uh, meaning um, there, are only, uh, there aren't but only a couple of times you can just continue to give without needing to receive something in return so that you have something to give. And so I don't want you to mistake me on this particular virtue. Yes, be sweet. Be unconditionally sweet. It's it's such a magical thing when you can be nice to people, unconditionally sweet to people without an expectation of anything in return. That's just a different level of growth. And you really begin to see life and experience blessings in life that are really next level. Um, I just really believe that life has the tendency to bring the great things to us when we do great things for people and we don't expect anything in return from them. This is why feeding the homeless. This is why giving clothes to people who don't have clothes. This is why helping people with gas, money, who you know fell short on their paycheck this week. This is why doing those things without anything in return gives you such a, a, a great, warm and fuzzy, bubbly feeling because it's really magical. It's really powerful when you can pour into people, give to people, not expect anything to happen back to you. And being sweet um, does that, but it does not mean you shouldn't have boundaries. Right? If you continue to be sweet to people, uh, continue to give to people who are not reciprocating what you are giving, you can be as sweet as all you want to. All you want to. Eventually, you're going to run out of gas. You're going to exhaust yourself of all of your energy. Why? Because you're giving and giving and giving, but not receiving, receiving, receiving. All right. And so, yes, we put giving first. Part of being sweet is learning how to put giving first. Uh, I've found some of the most sweet people that I know are people that don't walk around and say, hey, I'll do for you if you do for me first. Now, most of this, you know, the very sweet people that I know are people who initiate it. They initiate the exchange by saying, listen, I ain't going to wait on you. I'm going to be nice to you first. I'm going to be kind to you first. 
Uh, I'm going to put myself out there. I'm going to be vulnerable and put myself out there, recognizing that if I show you what sweetness looks like, and then I set boundaries for myself and expectations for myself, then eventually, whether it's from that person, that situation, another person or another situation, you're going to receive that back in return. All right. So I want to challenge you again. Yeah, be sweet, but have boundaries. Uh, yes, go above and beyond people, but never uh, extend yourself to others beyond ensuring that your own needs are also met. This is a very healthy thing that I want you to keep in mind. And when you do, you'll always be positioned to have enough energy to continue to be sweet to others. You got two jobs today. One, I want you to be better today than what you were yesterday. And two, don't forget what I told you. Now go after it.